Hi, it's Jake from CVP, and uh, we're here in Sony in Pinewood, um, where Richard has just given us a first in-depth rundown of the new Venice camera. So give us a really quick rundown of uh, what makes this camera so special. Many things really, so from a completely new uh, full-frame sensor, so it's a 36 by 24 millimeter sensor, uh, we're using completely uh, new technology within that sensor. It also has uh, eight built-in ND filters, which are servo controlled. There are many different uh, formats that the camera can handle, and therefore it's really uh, completely lens agnostic. It comes with uh, a PL mount adapter on the front here, uh, and then you'll be able to remove this PL mount adapter, and underneath is a locking E-mount adapter, which truly gives you access to uh, pretty much any lens uh, on the market. It has a completely new uh, menu system, which we've designed for usability, and to be really simple and uh, easy and intuitive uh, to use. We have uh, two displays on the uh, op uh, operator side. We have a small uh, OLED display with uh, key information such as uh, frame rate, shutter angle, uh, ND filter, exposure index and colour temperature. And then on the other side of the camera uh, we have the assistant side here. So we have the basic full menu system here. We can easily change any of the parameters such as exposure index. I can quickly change the ND filter uh, to any setting that I want here and I can adjust the white balance color temperature as well and the shutter angle. With the quick menu system here uh, I can very quickly and easily change uh, any of the key parameters of the uh, camera that I want to do. Out of the box what does it come shipped, shipped with exactly? Uh, it comes with the, the basic camera itself, it comes with the PL adapter. Uh, we're also including a set of shims uh, in case you need to adjust the back focus. It comes with the viewfinder bracket and the top mounting and the handle and it comes with a back plate uh, which has the V-Lock uh, interface uh, already attached to it. What kind of accessory compatibility have you got? Uh, I know you guys got quite a lot uh, of your existing accessories uh, bolted onto this. so. Yes, yeah, so the, the optical axis height is exactly the same as the F55, so any uh, accessories made for the F55 will fit. Uh, we've introduced a new viewfinder, the uh, EL200, which is twice as bright and is full HD resolution with a completely redesigned uh, diopter uh, system. Also, all of this viewfinder bracket this top mounting here, this comes, in, uh, comes with it in the box. For compatibility, we have the R7 recorder, which bolts onto the back. We're using four uh, Allen bolts. A lot of compatibility is built in, particularly with the V-Lock batteries, the existing R7 recorder. Uh, you can use the existing a AXS A-series uh, cards and the existing uh, S by S cards, which fit in this slot here. Initially, the, uh, one of the key uh, drivers for having a removable sensor block is to allow uh, any easy replacement in case of, for example, damage or scratches to the sensor. So you're easily able to, by removing six bolts, you can change the sensor block in about one minute, something like that. It also allows you access to clean the fan, which is inside. And all of the electronics are completely isolated from uh, the outside uh, environment. As far as future blocks are concerned, we will obviously listen to customers as to what they want, whether, for example, they want a high-speed block or some other type of block. Uh, so uh, we're very much open to listening for the different type of block that people will want in the future. What kind of firmware updates have you got planned in the next year or so? So this is obviously shipping with uh, version 1 firmware. Uh, we're planning uh, sometime in the summer version 2 update, which is a very big update. Uh, for us, it'll, it will uh, add extra formats into the camera uh, and it will also allow uh, select FPS shooting so you can do variable frame rate shooting. Uh, we're also going to turn on all of the uh, lookup tables so you'll be able to uh, make and import your own uh, lookup tables of the camera. In fact, each output, the viewfinder and the monitor out and the uh, S by S recording uh, all have their own separate lookup table built into the camera so you'll be able to apply a different look to each of those uh, individual outputs. We are uh, fortunate to have uh, the uh, uh, Alpha Group uh, design guys uh, working with us on the sensor so we can uh, apply a lot of the very high, high speed uh, readout technology that they have such as a memory on the back of the sensor chip 
This allows us to have a performance that is identical to a global shutter, but is actually, it is not actually a global shutter, but the readout speed is so fast, there's no jello effect and there's no flash banding in the camera. So you've made some big updates to uh, your raw viewer piece of software. Um, what do those updates entail? Uh, basically, we have to support the new modes that this uh, camera supports, uh, which includes full frame support. Uh, it also includes support for the anamorphic 4 to 3 mode, which is included uh, as standard in the version 1 firmware. It's primarily uh, also supporting the new colour process chain, so we have completely new colour management within the camera. This is reflected in uh, our new RAW viewer, together with our new uh, lookup table called uh, S709, which is a completely uh, new generation of lookup table designed specifically for this camera. That's incorporated in our software and will be added to our other software Catalyst Browse and is already with many of our other software partners uh, who are already supporting all of the features that are available in Venice. So yeah, the, the new S709 lot looks really nice um, and we had a look at some of the footage on the raw uh, viewer software a moment ago and it, the footage looks gorgeous. Um, when you were shooting that footage, how did you find using the camera? Like, What, what kind of um, new features did you find most useful when out shooting? I think using the uh, different capabilities built into the camera, it makes it very, very easy to control. Uh, the built-in ND filters are a major advantage that you can change them so quickly. Add that in for, to change your effective depth of field uh, or your different uh, exposure settings that you want to choose. Uh, the variable uh, colour balance, so anywhere between 2,000 and 15,000, you can dial in in one degree Kelvin steps, is also a very major uh, benefit for this camera together with the uh, tint offset control is very very handy. Uh, another key feature we have is the highlight clip indicator uh, which gives you a pre-warning in the viewfinder and the monitor out of when you're approaching saturation in the sensor so that is you're going to clip your uh, highlights so it makes it very very easy uh, if you like not to make a mistake when you're shooting. Awesome well thanks so much for showing us through um, it's been really really awesome uh, you know getting a proper in-depth look at the camera and I'm very excited to receive our demo unit. <laughs> <Yeah>. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.